Grab your cleaning supplies and hide your relics because Netflix has a new royal mystery. And I gotta say I was blown away by the first season being released, with Fantastic's performances by India Rhea and Corey Milchereist. Combined with a fully realized world I'm begging the series should maintain. If you are not familiar with my channel I often do deep dives on different shows toward enlightening things up for you. Today I will review and break down the Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. Are you ready? Let's dive. Just so you this video contains spoilers. The Bridgerton series' most complicated tale to date is Netflix's Queen Charlotte, which tells the dual theme of control and acceptance. Most importantly, Queen Charlotte is a series on the value of maintaining one's independence and having control over one's destiny. The female characters in Queen Charlotte's story best illustrate this. Both Queen Charlotte and Lady Danbury come to understand the value of taking charge of their own destiny by any means necessary, which helps to shape the powerful women they become in Bridget. King George and Queen Charlotte are able to design the life they want for themselves together by assuming power as monarchs and helping their husband realize his greatness. The ending of Queen Charlotte emphasizes acceptance very much. King George and Queen Charlotte both struggle with people wanting to shape them into the ideal monarchs. However, Queen Charlotte can only assist King George in being the best king she can be after she acknowledges her own nature. Queen Charlotte also assists King George in accepting himself. The story of Princess Augusta is also one of acceptance, as she learns that she must accept her son rather than try to heal him, allowing the king and queen to be happy. The existence of a second season of Queen Charlotte has not yet been established, but the series' intricate themes elevate it to the level of Bridgerton's best works. Princess Augusta's story explained. Throughout the course of the Bridgerton spin-off, Queen Charlotte, Princess Augusta, the mother of King George, and Lady Danbury meet for tea in an effort to further their own agendas through one another. Princess Augusta shares her past with Lady Danbury after she sobs openly about the tension between keeping her friendship with Queen Charlotte and retaining her status. Princess Augusta has other motivations for sharing her narrative, despite King George's mother's assertion that she does so to maintain the content of their antagonistic relationship with Lady Danbury. It makes sense that King George's father would have been Queen Charlotte's father. However, Princess Augusta says that her husband passed away before taking the throne. Since her husband's father had been harsh to her and George, she had to find alternative means of ensuring her son's position as king, including pleading for his pardon. She came to the realization that she didn't have to accept the futility of female pursuits and that there were alternative ways to accomplish her objectives and, more significantly, gain control. In a rare act of goodwill, Princess Augusta tells this to Lady Danbury, demonstrating to her that she can exercise the same level of control over the difficulties in her own life. Queen Charlotte's Dragonfly Accessories Explained a dragonfly hairpiece that the titular queen is wearing at the start of Queen Charlotte is not seen again until the series' last episode on Netflix. Despite the possibility that Queen Charlotte's preference for accessories is only a coincidental detail, the symbolism of dragonflies indicates that her dragonfly items are a deliberate theme in Queen Charlotte. As a representation of change, self-realization, and adaptability, dragonflies are a fitting metaphor for Queen Charlotte's persona in the Bridget and Offshoot. The final episode of the series features Queen Charlotte once again sporting dragonfly hair ornaments, which makes sense given what dragonflies stand for. By the time Queen Charlotte comes to a conclusion, the title character has come to understand her position as a monarch and discovered means to deal with the difficulties of Queen Charlotte and King George's joint life. The dragonfly jewelry worn by Queen Charlotte demonstrates her maturity as the monarch of England and paves the way for who she will develop into in Bridget. What happens to Brimsley and Reynolds? One of the biggest mysteries left behind in Queen Charlotte is what happens to Brimsley and Reynolds in the future. Both men are shown to be fiercely loyal to King George and Queen Charlotte, with Reynolds consistently upholding his duty to King George over his relationship with Brimsley. However, while Brimsley is shown to still be serving Queen Charlotte in the present timeline, Reynolds appears to be missing from the palace's staff, both in Queen Charlotte and Bridget. This begs the question of what came of Brimsley and Reynolds' relationship in the Bridget and spin-off. Sadly, it seems unlikely that Brimsley and Reynolds could have a happy ending in Queen Charlotte if Reynolds' absence in the future is an indicator. Based on Brimsley's answer to Queen Charlotte when she asks if he has family or loved ones, it appears that the two royal staff members are no longer together. This is further confirmed when Brimsley is shown dancing alone to a classical rendition of Dolly Parton. I will always love you near the end of Queen Charlotte's final episode. Sadly, it is likely that Brimsley and Reynolds' relationship ended, because Reynolds either resigned his post or passed away between the past and present timelines of Queen Charlotte. So there you have it fellas. What do you think about Queen Charlotte? Do share your thoughts in the comments. Also like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.